guys so I am uh, I'm having such a hectic chaotic day today I woke up super early this morning and I needed to like edit a video and just like clear my phone of my photos and do like some random like stuff so I did that this morning and now I'm trying to squeeze in the gym before I have my waxing appointment I was supposed to leave like half an hour go to the gym so I'm only gonna get to like go to the gym for half an hour but at least I'm going so it's like not that bad like whatever after the gym I'm going straight to my waxing appointment and I wanted to move my waxing appointment so that it's like half an hour later but they don't freaking answer their phones and it's really annoying because I tried to call them earlier this week too and their phone just like rings and like does the music thing and they're like oh there's nobody available to take your call but it happened to me like every single time I've been calling them so it's really freaking annoying because I really want to get a hold of them and I can't sorry I'm just going on a rampage right now I'm literally leaving tomorrow with my boyfriend and we are going to join like his family and I was originally supposed to leave today but there's no way I could do that because I have so much stuff to get done today after we come back from his cabin we have two days in between when we're going on our tropical vacations I should probably shouldn't have been working on set this week at all because of how much I have to do but whatever it's already done but yeah now I'm just on the way that this vlog is gonna be chaotic my hair had so much hairspray in it from set because they had to do like these updo thingies and I have washed it this morning and then I'm now I'm going to the gym after just taking a shower which feels really weird this is literally crusting so I put like a hair mask on it overnight and then I wash it this morning but anyways that's how my morning has been but i'm not trying to complain or anything i'm just trying to show you what i'm doing today a lot of errands to run and a lot of shit to get done hey that actually it rhymed but i'm excited i'm really excited to go on vacation it's just like i feel like i just have a whole bunch of shit to do before i go you know when you have so much shit to do you don't even know where to start that's how i feel so anyways okay i just got to the gym we're gonna take this um magic mind shot together it's just a matcha shot Cheers to a chaotic day. Keep in mind, I almost forgot my wallet when I was leaving. That would have screwed me over so bad. Drop the gallery open to 10 for you and your friends. You know how I spend in H-O-U-S-T-O-N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends, we get too wavy. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one. I made it after my half an hour workout. And we're gonna get waxed now. Wish me luck. It's gonna be so painful, but worth it. Begins my bed. You know me, and you knew me back then. And you know how it goes when I see you again. You know I'm making my way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. You a little post, so baby. You a little 48, baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gon' take off like a You already know. Okay, so I would like to come on here and say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So I was thinking, and as human beings, we all have our own little skills that we're better at than other people because we all are unique and we all have different areas of expertise. And so at the end of the day, if you want to learn something new, the best way to learn is from an expert who is very good at what they do and familiar with that field. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of creative classes on there. Let me tell you, I wasn't really sure about their website until I went to go check it out. And I was like, wow, this is actually so good. Good. They have everything from painting on there to yoga to video editing to starting a YouTube channel. Literally, they cover everything and they make it so easy for you. That's a part of going out of your comfort zone and not staying stagnant and kind of just like doing little fun things that create little changes in your life and really just invest in yourself. So I took a class that's called Easy Interior Design, Create a Space for Function and Flow, and it is by Demetrius Robinson. I don't really know anything or did not know anything about interior design. And now that I have my own place, I obviously want to learn new ways to spice up the interior design. But it was so much fun learning on their website and learning from an expert. So yeah, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get 
a one month free trial on Skillshare, which is so worth it. But yeah, so go click the link in my description and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. So I just got back from the mall and I just ate. Brittany made me some food. So shout out to you, Brittany. Thank you for making me a salad. So freaking good. Um, but yeah, so I did some shopping. Honestly, spending my money carelessly makes me and helps me manifest money. So you know what? It's an investment. So I did some shopping at H&M and I'm actually very proud of H&M because I've been wanting to shop more ethical and like literally every tag now that they have says like made out of this percent recycled material. So it makes me feel like a lot better about shopping there. I still have a lot of shit to do though tonight. I still need to film a sponsorship that I'm just about to do and then after I do that I need to edit, send off the video, I need to clean, finish the laundry up, pack. Um, I actually need to go out again to do a couple of errands that I totally forgot about. Like I really want to buy a new book because when you're at the cabin it's like the perfect time to read, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try this about in a bit. Okay, so first thing that I got, I got this dress. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's just like a little mini dress and it is so cute on. I'm too lazy to try it on, but you get the point. It is so freaking cute. And I just love the navy and the white. And this is just like a casual dress that I can wear with sandals or whatever. I'm obsessed. And then I got another dress because I've just been wanting more casual dresses that I can just throw on with like my Burks and a cute shoulder bag and we're good to go. So I got this one. It's just like a halter neck and then it's a just like a plain beige dress and then i got these pink shorts just to have i've always wanted a pink pair of pink light pink shorts and i finally found some at h&m so i had to get these then i got this sweater because i've been wanting just like a cream slash white zip up so i found one at h&m and it's actually really good quality it's pretty thick and yeah i've just been wanting one of these for a while now and then i actually got this i'm just wearing it because i was cold in the house so it's just this crew neck i love it so much and i just love having different crew necks because i wear them so often way more than hoodies to be honest i just love crew neck and then i got this crew neck as well and this one's just like gray and blue i love the colors of it and it's just a vibe it's so cute that's all i got from here and then I stopped over at Sephora because I actually needed something from here. I just put in an order online for like $300 for Sephora and then here I go buying more. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. So I also went to Urban Outfitters and I got these sunglasses. I don't care if anybody thinks these are ugly. Because I think these are a freaking vibe. Like, are you kidding me? These remind me of like, they're, I think they're like an old style that are coming back. But I love them so much and they're just like... A vibe. So I got these at Urban Outfitters and then I also got this top at Urban Outfitters and it's really like when I was looking at it I was like okay I think this is cute but I don't know how this goes but then once I put it on it was really cute so it's basically I don't even know how to show you guys because it's really weird but it's basically like this and it's really cute so I got this this is like the overhyped um, perfume spray thingy and I don't even I think I was saying this in, in another video like I don't even own a perfume and I was gonna get the Glossier one but then I was really hesitant to get it because I wanted to smell it in person before I buy it so I didn't end up getting it and I haven't gotten a perfume since but I really wanted to try this one because everybody loves it so much so I was like you know what I haven't never really bought myself a perfume before and i want to smell good this summer especially when we're at the beach and sweaty so i feel like this is just the perfect summer perfume and it smells so good so i got that and then i just got this first aid beauty um ultra repair cream i love this stuff so much i just actually ran out of my other one yeah this helps my eczema too because sometimes i get like eczema on my eyelids and stuff so this really helps it and it just moisturizes your face so nicely so first aid beauty if you're watching this I wouldn't mind to be on your PR list, so anyways. But yeah, so that's all I got. Kind of a little hefty shopping spree, but we deserve it, ladies. Oh my god, I forgot to say, but I literally met one of my subscribers on set the other day, and she's so cute. She was like, oh my god, do you make YouTube videos? I'm like, yes. And then she was like, oh my god, like, your channel's amazing, and I would literally wanted to cry. It was the sweetest thing ever. I actually ended up, like, driving her home. So it was funny how that worked out. But it's just so crazy to me that there's real people in this world that watch my videos and I'm not just talking to this camera. Like I'm talking to people and it's still a crazy thought that I can, like I'll never be able to wrap my head around it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you guys more than you know. And it's not just a number to me, it's every single individual person. Shit, I have a lot to do and it's already five. We got this.
what is up you guys so we're about to leave on a road trip we're just getting gas this is like a not a self-serve oh it's just yeah people do for you so he's just filling up our gas right there but yeah we're just gonna stop at the grocery store to get a couple things that they want us to bring up because the grocery store is like far from the cabin so you can't just go whenever you want but we're gonna bring up a few things stop and then we're gonna go to tim hortons do the ritual it's like a necessity for road trips we always get tim hortons before we go like leave so we're gonna go to the grocery store then we gotta pick up something from his house and then we're gonna go to tim hortons and then get on the road for real so yay Okay, Tim Hortons haul. We got three sausage farmers wrap, two for Joe, one for me, and then I got a hash brown. I got a bacon one. And then I got a ice cap with oat milk. I was gonna get like a coffee, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm really in the mood for an ice cap. So I got that, he got a coffee. And now we're on the way. This is like a ritual. Whenever we get Tim Hortons in the morning, it's like road trip vibes. I literally love road trips. <laughs> Okay, so we made our first pit stop. We're at the Hope Slide, and there's bathrooms here. So we're gonna go to the bathroom. Joel really needs to go. His coffee was brewing in his stomach this whole time, and he needs to let it out. So we're just gonna go to the bathrooms, and it's so pretty. We're literally like in the mountains. I have no service right now. But yeah, it's like a little stop on the highway where you can go pee, chill, and there's kind of like a viewpoint here. Like we're kind of in the mountains. I'll show you guys around, but yeah, we're just waiting for the bathrooms because there's people currently in line, so. We just got to Princeton and this is like about 45 minutes away from the cabin. So we're gonna stop at the liquor store, get some drinks, and then we're gonna go into Save On because they need a couple of things. We already stopped at the grocery store, but we need to get frozen fruit here because we didn't want to drive with the frozen fruit, obviously, because it would be literally melted by the time that we got here. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go to the liquor store now and then get the frozen fruit at Save On. Okay, so we're headed back on the road now. I got a kombucha and Joel got a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Um, it's so hot, like I'm so happy. It's 32 degrees and I missed the freaking heat. I'm so happy. This is the fit for today. I'm basically wearing like this bra top. I got this from Urban Outfitters and it's literally like a bra top, but I'm so hot so I don't really care. And then I'm just having these sweat shorts on and then I have my button up uh, that I thrifted. But yeah, so we'll probably be there now in like under an hour. Yeah, it's the last home stretch. <laughs> So we made it. We have been here since yesterday. It's currently Friday and We've been just sitting out on the dock honestly just chilling tanning all day I was kind of getting some weird IUD cramps again today because it's been on and off ever since I got it So that sucks and I'm still kind of feeling it right now But anyways, that's fine. It'll pass hopefully tomorrow. I'll feel hopefully better But it is so peaceful here. Honestly, it is such a vibe it's so peaceful the lake is just beautiful, the weather is beautiful, and it's just beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it, it's just so vibey. So I just started this book, it's called November 9th by Colleen Hoover. 
and yeah i can't say anything about it yet because i literally just started it but it's such a vibe reading here while tanning it's so peaceful i do have to kind of work today and edit a video so i can post tomorrow but yeah i'm just trying to take time to relax as much as i can because i know on my tropical vacation i'm gonna be relaxing a lot so i'm gonna do some work here but it's not gonna be like a lot i'm just gonna try to enjoy this as much as i can and just, just stay away from work and i want to also do a phone cleanse i was answering like a whole bunch of questions on instagram like i put a questionnaire thing so if you guys participated in that thank you it was so much fun and i was just kind of answering some questions all day and now i just kind of want to stay off my phone and read <music> Thank you.